everybody, this is John from My Thai Reviews, and today I'm taking a look at an iPhone and iPod Touch application called Utalk Thai by a company called Eurotalk. It's $9.95, which I think is probably the most I've ever spent on a single program in the Apple App Store, but I think this one is worth it. It's one of the best, if not the best, Thai language learning programs I've ever found for mobile devices. I do wish there was a little bit more material, but the teaching method is effective, so if it's at your level and you stick with it, I think you'll be satisfied and feel like you got your money's worth. If English is not your first language, you talk Thai might be the Thai language learning program for you because the lessons can be delivered in over 60 different languages, which is cool. The program does use very effective images, so I'm not sure how important that source language is, but it's still a nice feature to have. So let's get to it. So when you first launch the app, you'll see that you have nine categories to choose from. First words, food, colors, phrases, body, numbers, time, shopping, and countries. Down at the bottom here, you have a progress bar and there's an arrow showing where we're at and it will move through these different colors showing the bronze medal, silver medal, and gold medal. Right now I think I just got past the bronze medal. Let's go into the first words category and you'll see that the options you have available are word practice, easy game, easy game plus, and hard game. So let's go into the word practice and you'll notice at the very top in your navigation bar you have the back button that you have in all sections, a down arrow, on the left you have a speaker icon, on the right a microphone icon, an image in the middle, Thai script, English transliteration, and then a list of words. Tapping one of these words once Thai. gives you an example of a male speaking the word. Tapping it again Thai. gives you the female version. And of course there are certain phrases where that will change depending if it's a man or a woman speaking the word. Now you can also just go right through the list by tapping this down arrow at the top. If I just want to repeat a word or a phrase and not switch between the male and female examples, I just hit the speaker button. So that's just a way to repeat what you've just heard. Now the button on the right is the microphone, and this is where you test your own ability to say the word. So let me hook in my uh, headset real quick, because this is an iPod Touch, not an iPhone. Now that I have my headset plugged in, you will not hear audio, but if I want to listen to the word I want to try, I'll tap it here. It's playing through my headphones, and I can test my own ability. So I hit this button. My chai. Okay, so I'm going to unplug my headset here uh, so we can go back and forth to compare my pronunciation with that of the speaker in the program. My chai. My chai. So you can tell this is going to be very useful in a tonal language like Thai where changing the pitch of a word will actually change the meaning. So you can tell I need a little bit of work there, but that's an excellent way to compare yourself with the speaker in the program. Let's go back to the activities, and let's take a look at easy game. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch over to a different category just to give you some ideas of what else there is available. So let's try the easy game. So each of them is spoken to you and then mixed up to make sure that you're not memorizing them based on location. The answer is repeated. And then you're told if you got it right. So I'm going to play through this real quickly. Okay, now I'm going to get this one wrong just so you can see what happens. Okay, so just gives you another chance. Apple. 
Now I got 49 points. Because of the one that I missed, I had one point subtracted. I would have gotten 50 had I got them all correct. Let's go back and do, let's do it under a different category here. Let's try colors. Easy Game Plus adds an additional element. So you can see that there's a timer ticking down there. So you can see it's not giving me the answer at the beginning. It just simply lays out the cards, tells me a color, and I have to select it. It's not associating the Thai word with each of the images. Hmm. Ooh, I missed one at the end there. So you can see I got a couple of points deducted from the 100 possible on the Easy Game Plus. Now let's try a hard game, and you're going to see that memory is as much a part of this game as um, actual learning. So I'm memorizing during this time where they are. And then I have to remember which Thai. slot yellow is in, as well as what the Thai word is for yellow. Or I should say what the image is for Leung. So this is forcing you to think in Thai. You know, if you were to tell yourself pink, black, green, well then you have to translate after the cards are flipped over in your mind. So it forces me to say kiao, dumb, you know, it uh, makes the game much more easy. And of course you can't do that the first time around if you're, unless you're familiar, unless you're familiar with the colors. But after some practice, you will be able to do this. So this shows you how effective the game can be when you stick with it. So that's basically it. Simple layout, simple idea, but because of the different categories that they break it up in and the different levels that you can play at, it does keep you interested and actively learning. Now as you get further along in the progress bar here, the words that you find are more difficult. If I go back to the same game we played before, we're going to find out that the same words are not being presented. Now we played this one earlier and we saw none of these images. We heard none of these words. So it's not too repetitive. It's repetitive enough that you can memorize um, words and start to learn to think in Thai, but it's not so repetitive that you get bored with it and you are consistently learning. Now if we go into the settings here, you'll find that you can change the source language to one of 60, which, you know, like I said in my introduction, the images are so effective that I'm not sure how important the source language is, but it is a nice option to have. And if we go back to the game now, you'll see that the source language down below has changed. So I'll go back and switch that back to American English. They also have British English, English English. And you can also reset your progress here. And there you have it. You've got the little banners up at the top that show you how many points you've scored in each category. You can tell I just reset mine today. Um, yeah, I said that I was uh, after past the bronze medal, but uh, I didn't realize I had reset it. So there you go. I think this is my favorite uh, game now available for learning Thai on the iPod. The best one that I've tried. And I'm currently using uh, about probably 20 programs. The ones that are reviewed on the site are just what I've had a chance to get around to reviewing. Um, so out of all of these... Thai programs that I've tried so far. You Talk Thai by Eurotalk is my favorite. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned to MyThaiReviews.com. I'm going to be selling my iPod Touch this week, so I'm going to try to kick out as many iPhone and iPod Touch application reviews as I can over the next few days. So check it out, all right? Take care. Mm -hmm.